In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this up and down arrow concept in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have added this up arrow with a different uh, picture image here with the green background and then you can add the title up and then detail text you can add it here and if you have some icon also you can add it here and for more uh, title and detail text you can add to the left side here and similarly i have used a red background image for the down arrow key and then the text you also you can add it here similarly i have created two more different uh, backgrounds i have used so here you can see here i have just used the normal color here without any background images you can add the detailed text here and then i have added some background images here uh, for this particular slide and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the l shape draw the l shape by holding the shift key you can see here something like this shape outline make it no outline and then you can rotate it with the help of this arrow or you can just rotate it like this also all right so let me just uh, rotate it with the help of the arrow i'm going to rotate it at the it should be something like this all right now if you want you can further increase the size again by holding the shift key you can see here like this and if you want to reduce the width you can use this one you can see here i can reduce the width and this also all right so once this is done i'm going to add one more rectangle shape to look like one arrow so select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size and make sure that the size between this is equal so i can select both of this align center also i can do and for this also shape outline make it no outline and if you want to increase the size you can further increase it so once this is done what i'm going to do i'm going to select both the shapes go to merge shapes and union it or you can press ctrl g also to group it if you don't have this option so let me just union this one and then i'm going to duplicate this and i'm going to rotate it you can see here flip vertical and i'm going to just put exactly here something like this you can see here all right so once this is done i'm going to add a few more shapes here but make sure that this is properly aligned in the center you can group this one go to format align center align middle and ungroup this all right then i'm going to add one more rectangle which is coming from this side go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle shape outline no outline and rotate this one okay something like this and then the width should be equal to this width okay so let me just zoom in and i'm going to reduce it something like this you can see here just make sure that this is properly aligned all right and make sure that this is go outside of the slide area and duplicate this one and i'm going to put it here exactly at this stage here all right so you can see here i have added these two arrow shapes and once this is done you can either give any color of your choice maybe like green and here red or you can add some images directly into this one so let me just show you how to do that so let me just select this one right mouse click go to format shape and here you can see here this is not aligned properly you can just align it properly also something like this and here also just align a little bit more okay so i think this looks more perfect now so now i'm going to select this one go to pictures or texture fill go to insert and i'm going to select online pictures or any pictures which you already have in your pc also you can choose it so i'm just going to type uh, the green color all right gre in green and then i can choose any uh, image of my choice you can see here i've got different variety of uh, this one or I can just type say green background 
okay so you can see here i've got different colors so maybe i'm going to choose this one click on insert see here the image got inserted and i can just make this rotate with shape remove this one and i'm going to do the same thing for this also now for this i'm going to add the red background so go to picture go to insert online pictures and i'm going to type red background and maybe i'm going to choose maybe this or this click insert you can see here remove this one and then i'm going to copy it here so this way you can uh, add the image in this one or if you want you can add some different images also now it's time to add the text here go to insert text box i'm going to say this is up center align make it as a white font and i'm going to select arial black increase the size maybe 32 Control d to duplicate this one i'm going to make it down align it properly and then you can add some lines here you can see here i'm just going to add one line straight line shape outline make it white all right and if you want you can give some dotted lines and press ctrl d add one more line here for the down and this area you can add some detailed text equals lorem within bracket one i don't want this much long text i'm going to delete this one and center align make it white reduce the font size okay you can see here like this press ctrl d to duplicate and add it here and if you want you can add more text here also